Hello, it's Wednesday, March the 16th, 2016. I got the year wrong yesterday, didn't I? Uh, Joey and, oh, who else was it? Someone else, someone else complained. There was a complaint yesterday, a complaint flooded in, boys and girls, to inform me <coughs> that I had announced the year wrong yesterday. So, oh, Maxine, that was it. Thank you, Maxine. It is 2006, and apologies if that completely and totally ruined your day by getting the year wrong yesterday. It is, in fact, 2016, boys and girls, on Wednesday, March the 16th, where we have today not one, not two, but three birthdays. Here's two of them. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Joey and Paul McIlroy, happy birthday to you, yeah! And Joey is a, is a, a Facebook friend who I've known for quite some time now, haven't I Joey? How long, how quickly the time passes and Paul McIlroy was this high was this high when I knew him, and is, um, <coughs> I think, <laughs> I think he's, uh, my nephew Gary Butler's best friend. Although I won't say that in case it's someone else and they get upset, because they get upset, don't they? Oh, yes. If you get the names wrong, they get ever so upset, dear. Yes, yeah, so happy birthday, Paul McIlroy, who used to be a DJ on ba -ba 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 Flex FM. You wouldn't have liked the music. It was a like boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit of drum and bass, I think they played on there. Not my cup of tea. I like Hard House. You'll be surprised to know. A specific song by ha uh, uh, NRG called He Never Lost His Hardcore. Look it up. NRG, he ne oh, do you want a little bit of it? One minute, please. Searching among my uh, very large selection of music. One moment. He Never Lost. I have played a little bit of this before. Here it is. <coughs> NRG, I used to dance to this, you ready? That's enough, that's enough, that's enough! Oh, it re reminds me back to go into the days of a club I used to call to church, uh, trade at Turnmills in Clerkenwell. We used to get there at half past three in the morning, dear. Was it half past four? Half past four in the morning. We used to leave at one in the afternoon. Terrible place of sin and corruption. I went every week. I loved it, dear. Anyway, so happy birthday to you two. And also this morning, boys and girls, it is my niece's birthday. And she is so old today. So old, 29 years old. So happy birthday, niece. You get a little bit of a better, of a better birthday than the other two. Because you're my niece, here it is. The United Kingdom Talk Orchestra playing for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tracy, my lovely niece, gorgeous. Happy birthday to you. <coughs> All right, that's enough. Okay, shut up. On, all right, all right, on and on that orchestra. Oh, they do get very excited, don't they? They get very excited. <laughs> and there's this morning sneeze for you as well. Who was saying it the other day? Someone said, uh, could it be the spider plum? <laughs> giving you the sneeze? And I don't think so, because there's no flowers on it. Isn't it a pollen thing when they... Oh, look, I've got sneeze all over my mouth. Isn't it a pollen thing where they've got um, uh, flowers, what causes the sneeze? And I think it is. But there's no flowers on it, so I don't know what it is. Besides, I was doing it. So whenever I come in here, stud, shut. 
<laughs> and I start doing a show, I start sneezing. Oh, I've just had an idea, actually. I've got two very bright white lights in here. It could be those. I know you're thinking, well, how can, how can lights make you sneeze? Well, actually, when I want to sneeze and I can't, I look at a bright light or look, not directly at, but near into the sky towards the sun and I start sneezing. Uh, Dr. Carl, who is a wonderful science man on... Um, on various radio stations in Australia, he does Radio Five Live, I think, one night. But he, he's on Triple J, and he's off. He says there's a certain percentage of humanity, of which I think I am one, that have sneezing caused by a bright light, and I think I'm one of them because I'm special. Not as special as you, dear niece Tracy. Happy birthday, darling, and I hope you like your. Um, Oh, you might not have opened it yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I sent a, a parcel, a bright yellow parcel via DHL, the International Network. That used to be an old ad. You're probably, you're probably too young to remember that. There was a parcel. Have you got it yet? And have you opened it? And does it go with... Uh, 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 I can't say. can't say. So good. There we are. Now, um, just a minute. I've got some bits and pieces of it. We're, we're going to do the weight. We're finish off the weight myth thing today. Look. Look what my best friend bought me. United Kingdom talk cushions, aren't they fabulous? Thank you, Ronnie. Aren't they lovely? Look at these. Yes. Specifically made for the programme, I'm sure. And they smell lovely. Oh, United Kingdom talk cushions. Now, I don't know what to do with them. Should I? Could I put, I don't know, should I put one on the wall? Does that kind of work or? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, no, it stopped the ball going round. Where could I put that? <laughs> one minute, let me put try that up there. One minute, one minute. I'll put them in the living room. Does that, does that work? Oh, no. No, it's going to fall, isn't it? No, I don't know what to... Uh, uh, let me see. On top of the... No, I don't know. I think I'll just have to put them in the living room. I don't think we can put those on display in here. Because they're full down. Thank you very much for that, Ron. Much appreciated. It's been a bit quiet Monday and Tuesday this week, I must say, for the karaoke. I think everyone's saving up for Easter. Easter is normally with us, boys. Is almost with us, boys and girls. Just another couple of weeks. It's ever so early this year, isn't it? Not even in April. When is it? One minute. It's on uh, <clears throat> 27th of March. What is it today? 16. That's, uh, that's less than two weeks ago to go, isn't it? 27th of March, it's Easter. Yes, Easter, the day the Lord rose from the dead. So watch over us all. Didn't you know that? Oh, heathens, dear. Heathens. I'm surrounded by heathens. I really am. Uh, very much looking forward to Saturday. I'm going to a, a night off the Royal Albert Hall otherwise known as the United Kingdom Television Centre in London, which uh, I hope one day to perform there for you all. Doing a, wouldn't that be fab? Karaoke night at the Royal Albert Hall with Chris Redden from United Kingdom Talk. We'd have the whole thing on Facebook Live, don't worry. Anyway, so this is the Royal Albert Hall Saturday. Check this out. It's called Classic After... Oh, no, what's it called? Classical Spectacular. The UK's most popular... Like myself, popular, popular, of the UK, I like that word, popular, let's say it together, popular, one, two, three, popular, say it again, one, two, three, popular, I like that word, it sounds nice, doesn't it, popular, certain words sound nice, don't they, popular, rose, garden, cake, butterscotch, and other words sound really horrible, don't they? Murder. Knife. What else? I can't think of anything. Drowning. Dead. They all sound horrible, don't they? And the worst word ever, what sounds, what sounds as nasty as it is, abortion. Don't you hate that word? It just sounds horrible, doesn't it? I'm not even going to say it again. No, let's, let's stick to the... Butterscotch. <laughs> but, butterscotch. Daffodil. Anyway, we go back to the uh, story concerns. Classic after classic. 
from the very best classical music and state-of-the-art technology, boys and girls, the same state-of-the-art technology that brings this show to you on a re almost regular basis. Yes, electrifying multicolored laser displays and our famous thundering finale to the music of the 1812 overture. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to bring my cymbals in. Oh, yes. Uh, where are we? 1812 Overture um, with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, the Royal Choral Society, the London Chorus, Band of the Grenadier Guards, Band of the Household Cavalry, John uh, and, and various other people, the conductors and all that. I don't know the names, but I'm sure they're very, very important. Very, very important people. And I'm going to see them on Saturday. How exciting. If I can, if we're allowed, I'll take a little, just a, a couple of little snapshots for you so I can show those to you during the week next week, okay? Um, oh, by the way, I've had my me, 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 uh, me, me Ralph Lauren jacket cleaned. It looks nice, doesn't it? It was done for me by uh, Mrs. Partell at the, um, at the cleaners just down the road there. And she's got a, a, a youngish... He's probably about 22, lad working for her. And he's always immaculately dressed in there. Ever such a nice boy. I don't know what his name is. He's always immaculately dressed in there. And it's, all he's doing, basically, is, you know, he's doing the ironing and all that business from, the, from that big steam press. And, and out it comes. It's all done. <coughs> Not like me trying to iron a shirt. You know, two hours later, we're just about got to the collar. No, he just puts this whole thing in this thing, pulls it down, Opens it up because steam comes out everywhere, and uh, and there it is. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's not really that young. The steam from that machine is quite possibly going into his face, and he's probably maybe about sixty or seventy years old for all I know. Anyway, finally today we continue with we continue with our <coughs> with our, our our series from the Daily Mail: Myths that you can't afford to believe about dieting and eating. Here we go. Here's another one. This is going to kill you. This is going to kill you. If, like me, you do loads of swimming or running or anything like that, myth, during exercise, doing, doing exercise will help you lose weight. We've been wasting our time. Look, it seems incredibly obvious. Do some exercise, burn some calories, lose weight. But that isn't actually what happens. Hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I got cut off then. Do you know what I got cut off by? There was a phone call, boys and girls. A phone call. Any idea what it could be? Oh, my God. It was the private hospital with the date of my colonoscopy. Yes, they're going to shove a camera up me. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> so I've got a date for that. <coughs> I need to ring my friend Rock because you can't drive it. Apparently, they sedate you. What are you like when you sedate? Mm -hmm. Is it a bit like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be like going to that club I used to go to 20 years ago. <laughs> anyway, can we get back to this, please? Yes, uh, doing the exercise doesn't necessarily help you lose weight. Do some exercise, burn calories, lose weight. But that's not what happens. Part of the problem is that fat is very energy dense, apparently. You would need to run about 36 miles to burn off a single pound of fat. 36 miles, dear! God's sake. The other problem is people often reward themselves by doing for doing exercise by having a treat. Oh, I am guilty of that. Just a small bag of crisps or a couple of biscuits. Well, four biscuits or so. If you... um. It says, if you run for a mile, you'll burn about 120 calories. But if you decide to eat a small bar of chocolate, you will consume 240 calories. Listen, small bar? That's not the bar that you have. Small bar of chocolate, 240 calories. There are lots of benefits to be had from doing exercise, but losing weight is unlikely to be one of them. We're wasting our bloody time here, dear. That said... <coughs> Exercise is a great way of stopping you putting weight back on once you've lost it. I don't know why I bother then. Don't know why I bother. Now look at this. Look at this myth. Another one that I know you will think of. It's better to lose weight slowly rather than quickly. This was all in the Daily Mail a couple of Sundays ago. 
There's a widespread belief that if you lose weight fast, you will put it on even faster. But is it true? In a recent review article titled Myths, Presumptions and Facts about Obesity in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers put this claim firmly into the myths category after reviewing a number of studies comparing rapid and slow and steady weight wash. A loss. A recent Australian study backed them up. Researchers took 200 obese volunteers. I could be an obese, but I am obese, dear. Obese, uh, obese volunteers and put half of them on a low calorie diet, fewer than 80 ca 800 calories a day. That's what I've got to do, I reckon, <coughs> for 12 weeks. The other half cut their calories by 500 a day, enough to lose a pound a week for 36 weeks. Fewer than half of the steady dieters made it to the end. Frustrated, buzzing. Are you frustrated, dear? Are you frustrated? But um, you're frustrated that I'm not getting on quickly with this, aren't you? Yes. Uh, by the slow progress. More than 80% in the rapid waste lot problem uh, program stuck to it. Although both groups put some weight back on over three years, the amounts were very similar. A dietitian uh, said achieving a weight loss target is more likely and drop out lower if the losing weight is done quickly. So that's a very interesting one, that one. You know, I mean, when I've, when I've decided to go on the weight loss and, 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 you know, if you lose weight within a couple of days on that scale, even if it's a bit, it, 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 it makes it in your head, doesn't it? This is working and you carry on. Whereas if what happened to me this year, um, I, 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 oh, I've just realised I haven't got, sorry, I haven't plugged the expensive microphone back in after taking the call. Am I, oh, I'm very, very sorry. This is, this is an inferior part of the programme. I do apologise, boys and girls. Um, <clears throat> when, when you lose that bit of weight quickly, it does egg you on to carry on, you know. It really does. So that's interesting. More of those uh, on the next show, OK? Time to go. Happy birthday once again to Jerry, Paul and my lovely niece, Tracy. Have a lovely Wednesday. Quiz night tonight. King's Head Theatre Bar every Wednesday, 8.30. Islington, London. See you soon. Bye-bye.